Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this WooCommerce tutorial, I'm going to show you a free way to add a product timer to your WooCommerce products. The very first thing you need to do is download and install this plugin right here called WPC Product Timer for WooCommerce. This plugin is going to give you tons of options to make your products a lot more dynamic, and in return, you should get more sales. And if you scroll down here, they're going to give you, you know, all the different features you're going to be able to get with a free version. And I like this right here. They give you a lot of practical use cases for you know, how you can use this plugin. In this tutorial, I'm gonna go over three different use cases. The very first one is gonna be how you can set up a sale price like this right here on a specific time and date. The next one is I'm gonna show you how you can set up a sale price, let's say monthly on the very first day. So on the first day of every month, uh, have a sale price. And the next one is just gonna be really simple, hide certain products on specific days. So let's say we wanted to hide this product just on specific days. I'll show you how you can do that. So let's just jump into the back end and get started on the tutorial. So after you install the plugin, what you can do is jump over into your WooCommerce products. And in this use case, let's do it where this beanie is gonna be on sale at a specific time and date. So what you need to do is just jump into that product. And when you click on that, you're gonna notice underneath your product data right here in WooCommerce, you're gonna see this new section right here called Timer. And the very first thing what you need to do is choose an action. So as you can see, there's a lot of different logic right here. You know, you could put stuff out of stock, you can hide things, which we'll show later in this tutorial, um, set a sale price. So I would say probably in most use cases, you're gonna to wanna to do like a sale price at a specific time. So let's go ahead and choose that right here where it says set sale price. And you can see right here, the time conditions has a lot of logic in here. So for a free plugin, this is a lot of good features. And as you can see, as of recording this, uh, we are Tuesday, March 7th. And so let's go ahead and choose a very specific date. So you can see right here on date, you can choose March 7th. And so what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is up here where it says set sale price, Let's make this a $5 beanie now. So it normally is um, $20, I believe, and now it's gonna be five bucks. So if I go to the product right here, you can see the cart, it updated from $20 to five. So that's all day on March 7th, it's gonna be five bucks. So like I said, there's a lot of good features in here. So let's say you wanted to do it at a specific time on that date. You can do after date and time, and what it's going to do is give you the option to choose today. And then down here, as of recording, it's around 852. So let's say we wanted to do it anytime after 7 a.m. on March 7th. So you're going to go ahead and say, you know, hit save, update, and nothing's going to change here. It's going to be five bucks. But let's say we want to make it where that's not going to go live until. So let's go ahead and choose after 9 a.m. And now you're gonna see that this is gonna go back to $20. So as of recording this, you can see right here, we're at like 8.54. So as soon as the clock strikes 9 a.m., that's now gonna be $5. Now the only limitation with a free version is you can't stack these conditions. So if you see right here where it says duplicate, if you try to click that, it's gonna say right here, this feature is only available in the premium. So if you have a use case where you wanna have it, um, you know, on the first of the month and on a specific date and time and you know multiple uh, conditions you're, you are going to need to buy the pro version so that's how you can set a specific time and date you know to set a sale price so in the next use case you could do something pretty simple where on the first of the month have it where this item always goes on sale so you would just go into timer click the sale price let's say five dollars just like the very first one and you could do monthly on the first so if I go ahead and just hit save, come here and hit refresh, you're gonna notice that it's not the first right now as of recording this, this is March 7th. So what we can do is just make sure that this functions correctly. So let's go ahead and hit seven, save action, and this should now be a $5 beanie. So as you can see, the possibilities really are endless for how you can sell and promote your items to your existing clients, you know, if you have a newsletter, you can send out newsletters and say, hey, on the first of every month, these items are going to be on sale. Really easy way to automate the back end so you don't have to manually go ahead and you know do this stuff. You could just set it up and then just promote it. So now in this use case, let's go ahead and actually hide this item so people can't buy it on a specific day or time, whatever it may be. 
So instead of setting sale price, what you can do is set hidden. So once you click that, you can go ahead and just keep everything, you know, like we just had monthly on the 7th, because this is March 7th. So as soon as you go to hidden, you're going to notice that the beanie is going to go away. So you can see right here, there's no more beanie. And let's go ahead and just set this to the first. Hit save, so it should show up again right here. So as you can see, that's a really simple way to just hide it on a specific date, time, whatever it may be. Now, a really good thing about this plugin is it might be a little confusing on which items have the timer. So what they do on the back end is you can see right here where it says timer. Any of the items that have an existing timer is going to have this little icon right here. Yeah, because you're not going to want to you know manually remember what items have the timer. So you could always go ahead and just click this button. And you can try to edit it in line right here. It's a little confusing, um, to be honest with you. So if you just see this icon, you can just go ahead into the item itself and then just go underneath timer. And you can see right here, I have this one set as uh, unpurchasable on a specific date and time, odd weeks. You know, you can kind of stack these times right here. But like I said, you can't stack the action. So if you need to have, you know, very dynamic conditions, you are going to need to buy the pro version. And one last thing before we leave for this tutorial is if you want to set up all of this stuff globally, they give you that option. So if you click right here, it says WP Clever. If you go underneath product timer, if you don't need to set these conditions, you know, at the specific product level, you can go ahead and set these actions globally. So it could be for all of your products, hide it on a certain day, or you can have all of your items on sale at a specific time. You can just do that right here, hit save. So if you do have timers at the product level and the global level, you're probably gonna run into some issues. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're either doing one or the other, don't try to mix the two. And that's it for this WooCommerce tutorial. Make sure you give it a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.